Hello, and welcome to the series of our guideline videos for healthcare professionals. In this video, we are going to discuss various queries regarding DHP, MOPH, Qatar Medical Licensing Exam. For different healthcare professionals, their step-by-step -step guidelines for data flow PSV, evaluation process, and scheduling prometric exam. These queries are, what is DHP, MOPH, Qatar exam? What are the general requirements for healthcare professionals? How to complete data flow PSV? Step-by-step -step guideline. What is evaluation process for registration and licensing? Should I take prometric exam or apply for data flow first? Can I apply for DHP Qatar license without employer? Where to find for healthcare jobs? And can I apply from outside Qatar? How to schedule DHP Qatar Prometric Exam? How to cancel or reschedule exam? Who is exempted from Prometric Exam? What is passing score, duration and number of questions asked? How many exam attempts are allowed? This is Dr. Muhammad from Interface Medical Education, and in this video, I will try to explore answers for these questions for you. So, stay tuned till the end of this video. I am sure, that you will be able to understand many aspects related to DHP, MOPH, Qatar Medical Licensing Exam for different healthcare professionals. Hope you will find this video helpful. Before starting this video, we would also like to invite you to watch many of our videos made for healthcare professionals. I will request you guys to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon to enjoy more of such informative videos in future. And of course, if you like this video then, do not hesitate to hit the like button and send us your valuable comments. So, let's get started now. DHP, MOPH, which stands for Department of Healthcare Professions, and Ministry of Public Health, previously known as Qatar Council for Healthcare Practitioners, QCHP. Healthcare professionals, who are willing to practice in Qatar, are required to pass DHP, MOPH medical licensing exam unless declared exempted by the Ministry of Health. DHP, MOPH, which regulates health care related practices in the state of Qatar, to maintain the health and safety of residents in the state, and is responsible for the regulation of all health care professionals, working in government and private health care sector. Generally, all health care professionals are required to have certain number of documents, as well as meet some general eligibility requirements. Like, a candidate should have clear scanned copies of following documents. Original degree or certificate or diploma, from a recognized institution. If you are from India, Pakistan, Egypt or Afghanistan, then you must also provide clear scanned copy of backside of your degree. For general practitioner, candidate should have a minimum of six years undergraduate. The house job or internship program can be considered for completion of the required undergraduate study years, in case the medical college program is less than six years. For general dentist, candidate should have a minimum of five years undergraduate degree. Mark sheets or transcripts of the qualification. Internship or house job certificate, for doctors only. Health or medical license from graduating country. If the candidate has never worked in his home country, then the medical license from home country is not a mandatory requirement, but he should provide medical license of his jurisdiction. Experience Certificate For physicians, for general practitioner, to be eligible, one must have at least five years clinical experience, post one year house job. Candidate can apply as GP supervised, if having less than five years clinical experience. After completion of the required years of experience, the candidate can change scope of practice to general practitioner. Although, this GP supervised is only available in large hospitals, rarely you see this post for smaller and private clinics. Whereas, for specialists, one must have at least three years post-qualification experience. But, if less than three years experience post-specialty training, then one can apply as associate specialist. Both positions do not need to appear for prometric exam. For dentists, for general dentist, to be eligible, one must have at least two years postgraduate clinical experience. One year internship program after five years of study can be counted within the experience. Candidate will apply as dental trainee, if having less than two years clinical experience. After completion of the required years of experience, 
the candidate can change scope of practice to general dentist. Dental trainee is not required to appear for prometric exam. Whereas for specialists, experience requirement varies as per postgraduate degrees from different countries. For most of the countries, at least three years experience as specialist, after the postgrad degree is required, but it varies from two to four years experience requirement. Like, for India, four years experience is required after MDS degree. For nurses. For registered nurse, with bachelor degree of four years duration, candidate is required to have minimum two years experience, and nurses with diploma need minimum three years experience. Candidate can apply as nurse trainee, if having less than two years clinical experience. After completion of the required years of experience, the candidate can change scope of practice to registered nurse. Nurse trainee is not required to appear for prometric exam. For pharmacists, with bachelor's degree in pharmacy, candidate is required to have two years postgraduate experience. For pharmacists, with bachelor's degree in pharmacy, plus PharmD degree, candidate is required to have one year postgraduate experience. Whereas, with master degree in pharmacy related fields or equivalent, candidate is required to have two years postgraduate experience and exempted to appear for prometric exam. For technicians and other allied healthcare staff with valid bachelor's degree or diploma, candidate is required to have at least two years experience. This experience certificate should be duly signed and stamped, should have clear email and other contact details mentioned at their letterhead must be issued by human resource or administration department only. In case of self-employment, please make sure to submit your business registration certificate. Passport size photograph in white background. Your passport. Good standing certificate will be required in the licensing phase unless the case requires otherwise. Before you apply for your licensing application, please request this certificate to be sent directly from your registration authority to DHP. MOPH either by email or postal mail. We have shared their contact details below in the description section. Your CV, in the required DHP format, as explained in CV format. We have provided the link of this important guide, in description section below. Ensure that you have no gap of more than 6 months in your professional practice before applying. Log files, for specialists only. Make sure that all your documents should be written in English or Arabic language. Dataflow has recently introduced new application system for Department of Healthcare Professions and Ministry of Public Health, DHP, MOPH, Qatar exam. Previously it was this website where an applicant was required to start application process for Dataflow PSV, primary source verification, but currently, applicant is required to start PSV process through visiting following website. If it is your first visit, then sign up through entering your valid email address. Agree the terms and conditions and confirm to proceed. You will receive account activation link at your email. Click at the link. Create a new password and confirm it. Now you are ready to log in. Enter your email and enter your password on the next screen. Once you are inside your dashboard, you can start new application from here or can check status of your existing application. This scale defines your application status. You can change the language from here. Now let's start your new application. On this licensing details page, please select authority name which is in our case DHP, MOPH, Ministry of Public Health, Qatar. You can see different health authorities' names here, so be careful while selecting authority name. While selecting application category, let's assume that you are a physician and willing to apply as general practitioner. Don't worry, the steps are almost similar for other healthcare professionals. While selecting application type, make sure you understand the terms. Additional means, that if you have an existing application, and wish to verify additional documents. Let it be education, employment, license, or other document. You will need to provide your data flow case number and passport number to process under this application type. New means that you are applying for the first time under DHP, MOPH. Report reissuance means 
that you are interested to reissue your previous data flow report. Retrospective means that you are already licensed under DHP, MOPH, and would like to verify new documents. You will need to provide your license number to process under this application type. Let's select new option here. While selecting service type, you may select regular service, where your PSV report may take 25 to 30 working days. You can also take other value-added services for application processing against service charges. You can find more details here. For package details, review the selected package details. Click Confirm to proceed with the application process. If you have more than one education degree, or health license, or employment certificates to verify, then simply click this Add button. Please note that an additional cost will be applied to your application. If you have more than two education degree, or more than one health license, or over three employment certificates to verify. For additional document, such as log book or good standing certificate, select from here. Select facility name of your employer from the list. If you don't have an employer in Qatar yet, then select this option. If your employer health facility name is not available in this list, then click other facility option, and insert your facility details manually. Click Next to proceed. You may change the data flow service plan from here, or continue with the existing service. Review the following information, and click at OK button. On Personal Details page, upload your clear scan passport copy. If failed after trying again, then manually provide your correct passport information, and submit. Provide your correct mobile number to receive OTP code. Once received, Validate the received code like this, then click Next to proceed. On Verification Details page, start filling your health license details. Fill out all required information with correct details. While clicking at License Issuing Authority Name field, it contains pre-populated data which may contain the name of your licensing issuing authority. If you cannot find your issuing authority, then you can click at the link I cannot find my issuing authority from the list, and provide details manually. Otherwise select the name, and accept the terms through clicking here, and click at Submit button. Fill out all required details marked with red asterisk on this page. Upload the required license. Click at Next button to continue. On Employment page, while clicking at Name of Employer field, it contains pre-populated data which may contain the name of your employer. If you cannot find your employing facility name in this list, then you can click at the link I cannot find my issuing authority from the list, and provide details manually. Otherwise select the name, and accept the terms through clicking here, and click at submit button. Fill out rest of the required information. Upload the required experience certificate. For multiple employment verification, repeat the same process. On education section page, Please provide correct information. While clicking at Degree Issuing Authority Name field, it contains pre-populated data which may contain the name of your issuing authority. If you cannot find your issuing authority name in this list, then you can click at the link I cannot find my issuing authority from the list, then provide details manually. Otherwise select the name, and accept the terms through clicking here, and click at Submit button. Fill out rest of the required information. Upload the required educational document. Now, upload back side of the educational document. And click at Next button. In Letter of Authorization section, consent it to digitally sign this letter. You can also download it for your record. Click on Finish button. Click at Next button to end this application process, and now you can review your provided information. For any required changes, you may click at this edit link. Once satisfied after reviewing provided information, you can download this entire application for future reference from here. Click at Submit Application button to continue. On Payment page, select Payment Method, and then click Submit Application button. Once your payment is successfully completed, then Dataflow will send you a payment receipt at your email address. Once your Dataflow PSV report is verified, within specified amount of time, if having no discrepancy, then Dataflow Group will make this report available to DHP, MOPH, Qatar, 
and you will also receive a data flow reference number at your email address. Once you have successfully passed DHP, MOPH Prometric exam, and have positive data flow PSV report, and hired by an employer in Qatar, then you can start this evaluation process, to be issued temporary practicing license of 6 months duration in Qatar, before getting issued a permanent license. To start this evaluation process, once you fulfill above requirements, then simply visit the following website. Register or sign up as a new user. Click at sign up as a new user. Provide valid information, and click at sign up button. Once, successfully signing up, now you can log in from here. On Department of Healthcare Profession, DHP Dashboard, click at the Create and Submit Request tab. Now click at Apply for Evaluation link. Please read through the personal declaration statement and click on the required points. Click Next to continue. On Personal and Professional Information page, make sure to provide mandatory information marked with red asterisk. As per your passport, please upload a passport-sized photo with white background. While selecting profession, let's assume that you are a physician and willing to apply as general practitioner. Don't worry, the steps are almost similar for other healthcare professionals. For non-resident locum doctor, check this box and provide your visa number. Upload your clear scan passport copy. Provide your national ID card number and upload scan copy of it. Select the place of work type where you have been offered a job in Qatar. If this place of work is not already licensed, then select under process option. Otherwise, select the facility name from the list. Provide your valid contact information, preferably of Qatar. Click next to continue. On educational qualifications page, please provide information along with the supporting documents about your educational qualifications, relevant to your clinical practice and licensing requirements. You can add more than one qualification. Attach your supporting documents and your latest CV, made based upon the guidance of CV template. We have provided the link of this CV template below in description. As you have already successfully passed your Prometric exam, then provide details accordingly. Upload score report. Click next to continue. On work experience and registration information page, start with your work experience details. All fields marked with red asterisk are mandatory. Being GP, if you have required 5-year experience from a single health facility, then provide details like this. Otherwise, you may add multiple experiences from different health facilities. Attach experience certificate from each health facility here. Please provide your previous medical registration or license's full details. You may have already sent your certificate of good standing at the given contact details, as guided in the earlier part of this video. Upload your clear scan copy of medical certificate from here. Click next to continue. On data flow PSV report and additional information page, upload your PSV report. In the end, you may provide any addition information and upload relevant document. Otherwise, click here to continue. To submit your application, kindly confirm through clicking here and click at submit button. Enter your credit card information and click on pay now. After payment, your request will show pending with employer, which means your authorized focal point should approve your request via the health facility account. After employer approval, the request will be evaluated by DHP. On completion of the evaluation, processed by DHP, an email and SMS will be sent with the result. If rejected, then you need to contact your employer representative. If sent back, then provide missing information according to the comments mentioned by DHP. Click on Apply for Evaluation link and provide missing information accordingly. If approved, then proceed to the requests you will be able to do next. Apply for Temporary License. Change Place of Work. Apply for Licensing. Although, some may argue, that one should start data flow process only after successfully clearing DHP Qatar Prometric exam, because, it may save data flow fee, 
in case, if one could not pass exam. In fact, you can opt for either process, as neither is a requirement of the other. It depends upon you, that which process you take up first. In fact, you will need an employer in Qatar, who will apply for evaluation, temporary and permanent license on your behalf. Few years back, it was quite common, that employers from Qatar, not only used to facilitate IMGs for documentation, but also used to bear most of the documentation expenses. But, currently it has become very rare. You can visit Hamad Medical Corporation website at which is the primary healthcare provider in Qatar. It operates the primary healthcare corporation, located across the state. By visiting their website, you can find various openings, or you can send your detailed CV to them for consideration. You can also visit websites of Al Ali Hospital, Al Amadi Hospital, Aster Hospital, PHCC, and Sidra Medicine, which is another tertiary hospital, while it opened recently. It also offers various medical services. You can go to the website of these tertiary hospitals to find out their job opportunities at Career Opportunities page. You can also check some legitimate recruitment websites for healthcare workers online, like naukrigulf.com, qa.indeed.com, or monstergulf.com. As far as applying for healthcare job for IMGs from outside Qatar is concerned, it's getting more and more tough these days, unless you are Western qualified, or experienced there or have some exceptional clinical experience at home. Most employers prefer to hire those who are currently practicing in Qatar, or at least available there, like rest of the Gulf countries. Government initiative to accommodate local healthcare professionals in the name of Qatarization, is also causing immense below to this hiring factor for IMGs. A candidate can schedule DHP, MOPH Prometric Exam, without using any eligibility ID, or uploading any required document. After ensuring, that you fulfill the general requirements for healthcare professionals, as we discussed earlier in detail, in this video. Simply visit to Prometric website. Click Schedule My Test. Search for DHP Qatar Exam. Click at Department of Healthcare Professions, DHP, Ministry of Public Health, MOPH, State of Qatar. Under Actions tab, click at Schedule link. Review Registration Requirements, and click Next. Review Prometric Policy Notice, Confirm and Consent it, and click Next. If you have already been provided eligibility by your sponsor, then click Yes, and provide required information, otherwise, you can schedule your exam without eligibility id. For this, Select No option. Select your specialty from the list. Let's select General Practitioner here. Don't worry, the process will remain almost the same for other healthcare professionals. Type the name of city where you wish to take this Prometric exam. Choose your preferred start and end date. The end date calendar will show you only 15 days appointment slots from the start date. Click Next after choosing appropriate dates. Among available results, select your desired available test center date and time, and click Next. Review, Consent Prometric Biometric Policy, and click Next. Complete your profile information as per your passport, verify the information, and complete the appointment through making payment. Once you have successfully registered, an email from Prometric will be sent to you with confirmation letter. For details, regarding how to prepare yourself the night before exam, and what to bring at the Prometric Center, kindly watch our DHA Prometric exam scheduling video, especially the timeline starting from 8 minutes and 28 seconds to onward. We have provided the link here, as well as in the description. For cancellation and rescheduling of exam, Candidate needs to do this through visiting Prometric website or through visiting or calling your Prometric Regional Contact Center. For rescheduling date or time, if request is made 30 days prior to your scheduled test, then no charges are paid, otherwise US $40 is charged. If reschedule request is made within 29 to 5 calendar days of the scheduled test,
Exemptions are applied for DHP Qatar Prometric exam for all Qatari practitioners, dentists with postgraduate degree with minimum study duration of two years, and the study program should include the required accredited practical hours and clinical training. Pharmacist, nurses and allied healthcare practitioners with clinical master's or PhD degrees in their relevant field. For complete details regarding exemption criteria for physicians, dentists, nurses, and dental hygienists, kindly visit our website. We have provided the link of this exemption criteria page in description section below. It varies according to exam specialties. Depending upon the exam categories of physicians, dentists, nurses, and allied healthcare professionals, the DHP exam's passing score varies from 50 to 60 passing percentage. Exam duration is 3 hours for all DHP exam categories, whereas number of questions asked are 150 McQs. For complete details regarding each category's exam passing score, duration and number of questions asked, kindly visit details page at our website. We have provided this link in description section below. A healthcare practitioner can sit for the exam for a maximum of five attempts in his specified scope. That's all from us. Hopefully this video will be beneficial for you and will clarify many of your questions related to DHP, MOPH Qatar data flow process, evaluation process, till scheduling prometric exam. Do not forget to watch many of our videos made for healthcare professionals. Hopefully, you may have liked this video, then, do not forget to hit the like button. Share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Have a good day, bye.